in the US, we have around 500,000 people who are suffering from burns. Okay, when the patients lose their skin, um, so they are prone to many different kinds of infections, right? The treatment that we have so far in the medicine is one of them, for example, is bringing uh, skin from one part to that part that is damaged. But it's not enough because we have a limited skin, right? So the other thing that biomedical engineering now is doing is uh, making this skin like artificially. Tissue engineering can play the role. Now you can actually bring the a uh, tissue engineer skin and to cover that burn area without sacrificing or without you know uh, taking the a uh, skin from your healthy part. But this is skin that biomedical engineering also made is not complete. We basically just provide a basic function like bilayer structure. We have the epidermis on top, then dermis underneath, that's it. For example, it doesn't have nerves, it doesn't have uh, veins, it doesn't have hairs. Uh, the reason why hair follicles is so important because one thing is the people without hair, they cannot sweat as normal. And meanwhile, also hair pro provide a protection of your skin. They can balance the moisture of your body surface, temperature, and also they can actually help to clean your skin surface. So that's why the hair follicle basically have so many critical functions. So that's why we target the um, hair follicle at first. By our project, we try to control first of all the number of the cells, and then the number of the hairs, and how far they should be from each other, uh, in which level of the skin they should be. We can create a hair follicle-like structure in vitro. Now the question is, how can we control them in a better way, like density, distribution, the location. So all these things, if it can be achieved very near future, we can put them together, and then we can make the skin grafts, the real skin grafts. 